Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your boy, it's your boy, it's Harry, the other junior, and the guy that's another Dream Big Friday. <laughs> it's Dream Big Friday. Man, I almost forgot. Good morning to you, 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 and you. It is another Dream Big Friday. We're in day 104. Day 104 of Christian Financial Wellness. We're 104 days into the new year. The word for the new year, if you've never joined us before, is more. M O R E. What more have you done in 2023? It is Dream Big Friday. And today's word, every day, God gives us a rainbow word. This rainbow word is for you, it's for me, it's for us to implement in and get our day started so we can claim victory for God. Today's word is all my help comes from the Lord. Come on, my help comes from the Lord. You have to be able to depend on God in every aspect of your life. So we're coming straight from the scripture. That is the word of the day. I'm looking it up on our investment group club page. My help comes from the Lord. That is today's word. We wrote in Christian Financial Wellness, another Dream Big Friday, Psalm 121, 1 through 4. I will lift up my eyes to the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer my, thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. These are characteristic traits that we must implement every day. When Whenever we're teaching or giving a rainbow word, it is for you and for me to be able to receive the word. And after we receive the word, we have to understand the word. And all that I get and get an understanding. After we understand the word, we have to implement the word. This is what we have today. Implementing this particular word, what I, my help comes from the Lord. You have to know when to depend on God. I wrote this morning, good morning, millionaires. That's who you are, millionaire. You have to claim this. Scripture tells us every part of the Bible is, is a characteristic trait or an instruction or a prayer or a request or example to how we're supposed to be living, to how we're supposed to be living right now. This is how we're supposed to operate and move. Once we accept the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior, there is work to do. What work you're called to, you may not be at that stage of your living right now, but you keep doing and learning because whenever God gives you a revelation, he shows you something. We've learned a long time ago, two years ago now. My pastor, Kelsey West, he even said it. When revelation comes, then comes preparation. Then comes preparation. There's a period we have to go through. So this is our learning period more in 2023. Here's your opportunity to learn how to be a better steward. That's what we teach. If you've never joined us before, I'm Harold Elam Jr., the Internet Guy. This is Day 104, Christian Financial Wellness. This is Investment Group Partners. Opening bell, pre-market trading. So you see behind me, the markets may open a little down this morning. And because remember, catalysts, news, things that can drive the price pattern of the market is based on catalysts. Catalysts is news, things in the market, things about a certain stock. Uh, like, for instance, Boeing. There's catalysts on Boeing. Their, their supplier gave them a bad part, so they got to do a recall. A recall on a car is something different than something on a plane because Boeing sells these planes to other airports and other countries and other brands. So now, because they got to do a recall, the Boeing stock is down. Boeing's a big company. A lot of people own stock in Boeing, so it's pulling on the market that it, it exchanges with. You understand me? So, see, understand when you go to the exchange, you can buy several different companies. The biggest of the companies will be the ones that can drive the market. That's why the Dow Jones is a barometer when you're measuring something. Remember, with all of our getting, getting understanding. So, the Dow, so listen, the Dow Jones is a, is a measuring tape. Do, um, what are we talking about? Good Lord, hallelujah. Boeing is pulling on that market because Boeing is one of the biggest companies in the world. But it's trading down. Trading down on what? Catalysts or news. We don't time the market. You can't. Guys, listen, right behind me there, this is Bloomberg on the small computer. On the big computer is CNBC. We look at this for real-time information because what we look for is information, the same characteristic trait that God tells us to do, the same action that God tells us to perform. In all of that, get it, get an understanding. So before we do anything, we gather information. How important it is to do your due diligence and gather information when you're investing in the market. It is very simple, but see, God makes it even simpler for us because the rules that we apply are principles of stewardship, things that we would be doing anyway. Whether I'm trading stocks, I'm going to do it anyway. Whether I'm selling real estate, I'm going to do it anyway. Whether I'm uh, selling T-shirts in the swap meet, I'm going to apply these biblically-based principles on stewardship anyway. Every day, we have to have a goal. Every day, you've got to set an end result expectation because all you got is today. 
a lot of times we get caught up in the situations and the circumstances around us and it clouds our judgment. It clouds everything. Trust me, every day is not going to be a holiday. Every day is not going to be Sunday. But here's your opportunity to fight through the day because it ain't your fight. <laughs> Y'all better talk to me. We're vessels of honor being used in the world. For what? So we can be the light. So somebody can say, you know what? What did you do to give your life to Christ? So we also got to be the flavor of the earth, the salt of the earth. We're the ones to give flavor. So somebody can say, what must I do to give my life to Christ? And so in every aspect, there has to be an example. If you're a teacher, be a good example. Show how to teach. Show how to love. One of the best things that God has ever given us is love. Love. Wow, he loved us so much that he gave his only begotten son. That's love. Hallelujah. Hey guys, you just now joining us. We're in day 104. This is the last trading day of the week. We're in the second quarter, the second quarter of the new year. We've got great expectations with the second quarter. Today, now let's start with today because that's all we got is today. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. We're going to be looking at key stocks today. One of them is CXAI. It's been the talk of the town for the last two days. CXAI. This morning I woke up in pre-market trading the stock got as high all ready at $27. It closed at like $12. Right now it's trading at $18.65 in pre-market. I was tempted to sell it, but I mean, I'm really, I'm going off FOMO investing. Look at that. But I want to see how high it goes. We're in the stock around $3.27. It is trading right now at $18.65 in pre-market. Guys, listen, we buy information. That's what we do. We invest in information and buying doesn't always mean a monetary thing. So we have to spend our time. So you're being a good steward of God's time. We spend our time studying. We spend our time learning more about a particular company or a particular product. Here's my best return on investments. If you're going to invest, look in your house. Look around and see where you already spend your money at. See what you already spend your money on. I call that community reinvestment program because all you're doing, if you spend your money on refresh water and it's a publicly traded company, how do you find the company? You look at first of all, you see the name of the brand. The brand sometimes is the name of the company. If not, it'll tell you like this is signature select. And you probably got to look a little harder, but it's refresh. You can probably look on Facebook, Google, Instagram, find um, the company itself, find the water. See if it's a publicly traded company, because if this is where you're spending your money, this is what you should be invested in. Some of some brands, you look for the brand everywhere. Everything around you is a brand. People don't make investing all that hard. It's not. You're already making an investment every day. If you stop at the, the, the Rebel gas station, you're making an investment in Rebel. I gave them money today. Somebody's going to eat because of the money I gave them. What type of gas is at the gas station? Are you getting Chevron? Is Chevron a publicly traded company? I buy Shell. Is Shell a publicly traded company? Because if this is where you're consistently spending your money, here's how you get a return on your money. Don't make it all complicated. What we do as a club is we pull our funds together so we can reinvest in ourselves through the companies we're already spending our money on. This is stewardship, teaching you how to move and operate differently from the world. You can keep following the world with different expectations, but that's a sign of insanity. I'm going to do the same thing over and over again, and I'm going to expect different things. No, God calls us to be different. He calls us to operate in functions that people may say we're peculiar, that we may stand out on purpose. This is his intention, because if we operate like the world, we're going to get what the world got. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Harold Dillon Jr., Internet Guy. Guys, listen, we're talking about one of the best trading stocks. We're in pre-market trading. Markets don't open until 6.30, but we're talking about CXAI. Spread the news, CXAI. Right now, the stock closed at $7.13. Pre-market is up to $16.34. It's been as high as $27 in the pre-market. It's high as $27. How high will this stock go? In pre-market trading, the, the volume of this stock, CXAI, is 6.9 million. The uh, average is 17 million. That's the average 10-day. But in pre-market, it's already almost at 7 million. So this stock has a ten, has a has an expectation to run this morning. The, the way it's looking, because we look at seven key indicators when we're researching a stock. First of all, where can we buy the stock? This particular stock, CXAI, it trades on the NASDAQ. We like the NASDAQ. As a club, as a community investment club, we like the NASDAQ. For, for us, the NASDAQ serves two purposes. 
It is a, an exchange, a place where you buy stock. New York Stock Exchange, the NASDAQ, the over-the-counter market, these are places you can buy the stock. So we like the NASDAQ. It also is a measuring or barometer or index, the NASDAQ index. It kind of measures the company and gives us indication on how the market's going to open up. The Dow Jones is an indicator, an index. The Dow Jones index gives us an indicator of what's going to happen next. This is why we look at the futures. This is why we have Bloomberg up for information. This is why we have CNBC up for information. Because the information that we gather, we have to analyze it quickly. You have to analyze it quickly. And God already teaches us that as stewards of God. We already know how to operate and function inside of God's word. If we know his word. Listen, 2 Timothy 2.15. I'm going to give you scripture as for stewards. 2 Timothy 2.15. This, apply this to every aspect of your life. Study to show thyself approved unto God. Regardless of what you're studying, you're looking for you're not looking for man's approval, you're looking for God's approval. God, is this what you would have me to do? I'm teaching. God, is this what you would have me to do? I'm an attorney. God, is this what you would have me to do? I'm a police officer. Because he places us in a position of purpose that we can be used in that area. That we can be what? The light. We'll talk about the light. That we can be the flavor, the salt of the earth. Doesn't matter where you are, police officer, lawyer, preacher, evangelist. Cleaning the street, working at the park, doesn't matter where you are, the God wants us to remain who we are. That's the position. When we talk about position of purpose, it's always not a destination or a physical position. It's where you are with God. Where are you at? The Bible says that uh, I was young, and when I was a child, I thought as a child. I did childish things, but when I grew up, I gave away those things. That's a different place. That's a different place. And as you move up in God, as you move up in life, as you move up through success, you have to learn how to operate in that space. And every level of, 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 of increase, every level of maturity is a space you've never been in before. Hallelujah. I've never had this day before. So I ask God, what can I do to live in this day? Because God already knows the beginning to the end. Why wouldn't you trust in him? What's today's word? All my help comes from the Lord. All my help comes from the Lord. Hallelujah. Guys, we're talking about CXAI. There are a few stocks that will be coming out there. Earnings that came out today. I, we bet on the banks. We bet on um, a Wells Fargo. Uh, earnings and uh, their, their earnings report came out pretty decent. We're going to look at that. Uh, CXAI is now trading at 1634. The hot stock of the morning. Do you hear me? CXAI is popping this morning. It's back up to $17. We're going to go through... Some of the best trading stocks of the day. This is pre-market trade. Dream Big Friday. Day 104. Day 104. Did you hear me? We're in day 104. You're 104 days into 2023. What have you done? Good morning. Good morning. All right. So let's see. We're going to go through. Let's see here. Guys, it is 549 in the city. On the West Coast, 549. That means it's 849 on the East Coast. Hey, to my East Coast friends, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Call your mama, call your daddy, your auntie, your uncle, your sister, brother. Call Big Mama and them down south. What? And tell him it's Harold Gillum Jr., the internet guy. And he's live, 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 live on social media for all to see. All right, so we're going to look at all of our stocks that we own. Guys, if you've never joined us before, this is Investment Group Partners. This is Community Investment Club. We are the parent association for the club that you're in. You're visiting us right now. This is your first time here. If you're a new active investing member, welcome to the neighborhood. We do our best to have an opening bell every morning. This opening bell is searched for three purposes. One, for you to uh, receive a rainbow word from God. When you receive this grammar word, too, it's for you to understand the word. Get an understanding of what God has given you. What's the rainbow word today? My help comes from the Lord. Learning to depend on God. Learning to trust in him and not man. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. I will trust in the Lord. Come on with all my heart. Lean not into my own understanding. Acknowledge him in all thy ways. All thy ways. But Jesus, I'm asking God about my finances. I'm asking God about my wife. Asking God about my children. Asking God about my job. Asking God about everything. I'm acknowledging him in all thy ways. And it's easy. You're just seeking help. But because that selfish spirit is rapid. It runs rapid around us. We sometimes get selfish and say, you know what? I can handle this myself. And we eliminate God from areas of our life. Areas of our life where we want to be successful. One of those areas is your finances. Y'all better talk to me. 
Anyway, good morning, good morning, good morning, day 104, Dream Big Friday. I love a Dream Big Friday. We're talking about some of the best trading stocks of the morning. Um, beyond their close, this is op this is opening bell, but pre-market trading. Guys, the markets don't open up. They open Monday through Friday, 6.30 Pacific Standard Time, uh, 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. They're open until 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, and 7 p.m. Actually, 4 p.m. our time, that's pre after pre-market trading, till 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The markets close officially at 4 o'clock, but then they have three more hours of after-hour trade. Doesn't matter what day of the week it is, as long as the market is open, there are three more hours. Like right now, this is pre-market trading. So from 7 a.m. till 9.30, you can trade stocks, but it's pre-market trading. So the stocks that we're looking at today, they're trading in pre-market. And the number one stock, the play of the day, and I thought it was another stock is CXAI. We knew it was going to run. We just didn't know it was going to open this much. We were expecting to open it over like 13 and then run to, because it's high as $13. Right now, the stock is trading at $17.20. Go call your mama, call your daddy. The stock is trading CXAI. That is the play of the day. We're also going to be looking at a transitional stock. What's that, Harold? Well, SPAC, a special purpose acquisition company. A SPAC, that's a blank check company. This is a company that helps another company go public. What's a public company? A public company is something that we can buy shares in. Target is a public company. Walmart is a public company. Ford is a public company. We as individuals can buy stock in that company. What we do is we come together, we, these individuals, and we pull our funds together. We buy stocks together so we have a greater buying power. This eliminates and reduces the risk that an individual investor can have when you do it as a group. It also reduces the investment because if I want to buy 10 shares of Tesla, Tesla is 10 shares are going to cost me over two grand. But if I want to buy 100 shares of Tesla, I can participate with $100 because that's my membership contribution. We pull our funds together. Just like when we were in college and we want to go out, everybody, I got five, I got six. Remember the song, I got five on it? But that was something else. <laughs> but it's collectively pulling our funds together that we may buy something bigger and better. And what we do is we buy stocks. We invest in the stock market. We implement the rules and the regulations, the guidelines, the principles that God has given us concerning stewardship, how to be a better steward of our time. That's why today we're learning. We're not wasting God's time 24 hours in a day. All you got is right now. How to be better steward of God's word. God gives us his word. That's what the Bible is for. It is for us to learn his word, how to live on this earth before we get to heaven, how to present ourselves as a king, as a son or a child of a king, how to live life while like God would have us to live life. That's why we study to show thyself approved. Second Timothy 2.15 and we study in every aspect of our life. And third, how to be a better steward of God's money. God blesses you with something. He entrusts you with something. He's looking for a return. He's looking for a return. How do I get a return on this? How do I get a return on this? Then you have to apply the principles that God has given us regardless of what you're doing. Regardless of what you're doing, you have to learn to be a good steward. And so we're going to be talking about the best trading stocks. We chose, hallelujah, to do stocks. Some people chose to do Forex. Some people are going to do options. Some are going to do cryptocurrency. Some are going to sell real estate. Some are going to have a brick and mortar business. But the principles, the rules, the regulations, the guidelines to stewardship and being a better manager still apply regardless of what part of the life you chose to do economically. Regardless of what you chose to do economically. The Bible tells us in Ephesians 4 and 1, and we're talking about your vocation, what you chose to do. Because whatever we do, we have to do for the glory of God. This is why today's word is, all my help comes from the Lord. But I'm in Ephesians 4 and 1. Here's what it says. As a prisoner for the Lord, then I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have been received. So regardless of where you are, you need to walk worthy of your vocation. Vocation meaning job. Depending on the translation, that was the NIV translation. I'm in Ephesians 4 and 1. If you're just now joining us, I'm Harold Elam Jr., the Internet Guy. It's day 104. It's Dream Big Friday. We represent investment group partners with a parent association over Community Investment Club. If you're watching me live right now, you're already a member of the club. Welcome to the neighborhood. You just have to choose what level of membership you want to be. I want to be an active investing member. That means you come with everybody else. You pull your funds together. We buy stocks together. We eat together. We learn together. We grow together. That's community That's community investment club level one membership. Or you could be a self-investing member, which means you do it on your own. You have to open up a full service brokerage account. You can follow our trades. There's nothing to buy here. 
There's no credit card information you have to upload. There's no books. There's nothing you have to wait for Amazon. You just have to show up for the training. And if you show up for the training every morning, this is opening bell. This is part of the training because we must first change our mind. But when you come to training, what you got to bring? What's the pack? What's the pack? Got to bring your Bible. That's part of the pack. Got to bring your journal, your pen. So your Bible, your pen, and you got to bring your journal. That's the pack. So I got a journal, I got a pen, and I got the word. If you don't have a pack, then all you got to do is text me, tweet me, message me, Instagram me. We on the gram. And we'll make sure that you get a pack. In that pack, you get a journal, you get a pen, and you get the word of God. And that pack will help you because you want to write down notes. You want to be able to take information back so you can study it on your own. You have to make that studying portion of your characteristic a habit. We are creatures of habit. As humans, we're habitual people. God is telling us in Romans, change your habit, change your mind. Because we we were brought up a certain way. I don't blame my mom and my dad. They didn't know any better. But someone has to break the curse. The curse of poverty does not just mean being without money. It means being without knowledge, being without wealth. This is an unbalanced thing. Right now, the first shall be last and last shall be first. That's what scripture says. So God is preparing us for the coming. God is preparing us for the receiving. This is why we're motivated by Proverbs 13, 22 when it comes to stewardship. We're not looking for riches. That's what the world looks for. We're looking for wealth, a wealth of knowledge, something I can leave my children, not only my children, but my children's children, as called by Proverbs 13, 22. A good man, a righteous man, an honorable man. This is Proverbs 13, 22. Leaves an inheritance for his children's children, and the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the just. We're out here operating and functioning that we may be better, that we may get a return on everything we, touch our, we put our hands on. Every Everything we touch, God will bless and honor if we're maintaining our position in him. Guys, we just now joined. We're still talking about the best trading stocks. Um, it is an earnings day. Wells Fargo had earnings come out today. J.P. Morgan had earnings come out today. It's a bank holiday, not bank holiday, a bank earnings day. Let me say it like that. And so whatever the banks are going to put out there, they can affect the market. Right now, Boeing is pulling on the, ma- on the markets, pulling on the Dow Jones. Uh, Boeing had a uh, uh, supplier problem. One of their suppliers gave them a faulty part. So now they got to get some planes back. A recall with a car is much different from the recall with an airplane. Um, one of the stocks that we were talking about today, if you're just now joining us, was, and I'm going back up, it was uh, CXAI. The other one is, and I'm going to give you another one, AUUD. A as in Apple, U as in Uriah, U as in Uriah, D as in David. AUUD is a stock. It is a penny stock right now. It closed at 89 cents. It was trading up in pre market around 90 cents. It is at 85 cents now, so you got an opportunity to buy in pre-market the dip. Now, if you're buying in pre-market, keep in mind that the stock can open up real, real high or it can open up real, real low. This is pre-market trading. It allows you, if you have a cash account, to buy and sell the same day. If not, then you have to wait for, if you sell a stock, you got to wait for those funds to clear. That can take up three, four days, depending on what brokerage account you use. If you do it on a weekend, you definitely got to wait because the market's open Monday through Friday, your brokers are access 24 hours. You have 24 hours, but you can't always sell stocks 24 hours unless you're trading in a foreign market as well as the U.S. markets. We trade only in the U.S. markets with companies that trade on the U.S. exchange. Now, we do have a, uh, a emerging market uh, equity fund portfolio, which invests in companies that do business in America on the exchange, not necessarily sell their services or provide their their products in America, but their their business trades on America. A lot of Chinese companies, India companies, companies from Australia, companies from Europe, companies from Canada, anything outside of our borders, we put inside that emerging market equity fund portfolio. It is one of the highest risk uh, neighborhood managed group portfolios we have because why? It invests in foreign markets. So those are normally investments we make with caution. Uh, it is now 6 o'clock in, in the morning. Guys, 6 o'clock in the morning! And we're about to go with 30 minutes from the opening bell. My name is Harold Dillon, Jr., Internet Guy. We gave you two stocks. We're supposed to be talking about stocks, but every day we're going to always put God first. We're going to always do what God would ask us to do, and that's changing your mind. You have to change your thinking. Nothing can work. Right now, we're invested in the market. We're doing it as a family. But for part of the job of stewardship, part of the job of growing you into that next level of wealth is to make sure you change your mind. And so when God gives us a rhema word, these are words that you have to apply to your life. And when you apply them, but only apply them for today, because that's all we got is today. I need you to focus on the right now. This is how God operates through us. 
Focus on the right now because it's right now somebody you're supposed to smile at. Right now there's something you're supposed to accomplish. Right now there's a there's a there's a time in history you're going to have victory on today. Right now the enemy's going to be attacking, so you have to deal with the right now. Matthew six thirty three and thirty four. Then I gotta go. Matthew six thirty three says, "Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and then all these things will be added unto you." Start today. Matthew six thirty four says, "Take no need for tomorrow, because tomorrow will take care of itself." There's enough evil in today. So we need you to focus on today. Hey, guys, this is Harold Dillon Jr. Internet guy. It's day 104, Dream Big Friday. We're investment group partners with the Parent Association of Community Investment Club. If you're watching us live, welcome to the neighborhood. Hey, good morning.